Hello everyone, my name is Viviana Guzman and I am a Spanish teacher at Rocky Hill High School and this is the CT Cold Tip of the Week, um, engagement with Class Dojo. So Class Dojo is a system that is usually used with elementary school, but I have been using it this year for tracking student engagement and participation, um, again with high school. So usually I used to give the kids a popsicle stick, that's when I first started, or a euro. I used to hand them out when they participated and those things we would track or they can cash in for points on, on a quiz or things like that. But this year we've been um, using um, Class Dojo because it's virtual. So what I do is I set up my classes, as you saw on the previous screen, and the kids get to set up their monster, their icon, and whenever a student participates, I just click on that student and I award them with the point that they earned, whether they participated or because they were on task or they're working hard or they persevered with something that was challenging or they did something extraordinary that required more than one point. Um, these skills, you can edit them. Um, for example, I made up this one asking a relevant question. I felt that um, I needed to make this one up because a lot of my students asked really great questions and I felt that I wanted to track that in a different way. So I wanted, I made up that skill so I can track it later on, which I'll show you how to do that. Um, you can redeem points um, for any reason that you may need to. And you can also um, do these skills where you take away points or just give them feedback that things they need to improve. I haven't used that yet because I'm just keeping it positive this year. Um, you can award the whole class a point for whatever reason. Let's say they're all working really um, great and they're all on task. You can give the whole class an on task point. Um, when they participate, some kids are shy. So there are um, instances where I select a student at random by clicking on this button here and they participate. Um, sometimes there's a few students that participated really well. So um, it's easier to give multiple kids um, a point and I just select the ones that I want. Or if the majority of them got it, I select all and then just eliminate the two that were like absent, um, for an example. So that's really easy to give. Um, Class Dojo also has a toolkit. There's a timer. There's, again, selecting a student at random. There's a group maker, which is great. Choose how many students you want in a group. And then it automatically puts them in a group for you. Um, again, the random, the timer, and then you can invite families, but I didn't this year um, just because I'm getting used to the technology. In the future, when you have students in groups, there's um, the groups that you can assign which student is in which group, and that way you can give um, points like that. Um, one of the main reasons how I use it, I use it daily because we do our do now um, Agana Ora every day when we come to class, as you can see here. Um, and it's pretty easy to keep track of. You see these different icons. It's because every activity was different. And how it was different is this, it depends on how those students were able to respond. They could have responded through a text, a video, a photo, a drawing, or a worksheet that you snipped and uploaded, or a PDF you, you uploaded, and they did their worksheet there. Um, this we do every single day. We start off the class this way, and that way they, I guarantee every student has one participation point if they did the, the do now. And it's amazing. You can also give them um, feedback. Let's see. Today I gave a student um, really great feedback here. See, this one says draft before because I sent it back to the student with some feedback so that he can work on it and send it back to me. So that is really great. Um, here are their videos and all the different type of assignments we've been doing um, on a daily basis. So this is how I use Class Dojo this year to track participation points, to keep the kids engaged. Um, I typically typically give my students a goal of 10 points for the month or 20 for the month. And they're working that whole month participating and staying engaged to reach that goal. And I found that it's helped especially my remote students stay engaged um, because sometimes I just choose, choose a student at random when the, the, the class is 
starting to wake up and nobody's raising their hand. And then other times the kids are really engaged and no brainer, I can just um, keep track of points. Um, I typically just give my students 95% if they met their goal, but to the top five scores, I give them 100. And I feel this has been very effective because it keeps students that have already met their goal, it keeps them engaged to try to strive to be that top five score. And also students that haven't met their goal just yet, and there's still some days left in the month, the kids that have met their goal, I find that they encourage their peers to participate like, hey, you got this, go for it, come on, you just need one more point to reach your 20, you can do it. And that has been amazing to see, especially that interaction from remote and in class has been wonderful. So again, Class Dojo um, has been my lifesaver this year to try to rescue that um, feel, that same energy from a typical year. And I highly recommend it. And if you want any more tips or another video on how to use any certain aspect of it, I'd be happy to. Um, have a great year, everybody. Goodbye.